There had been a strange change for Dom recently. Over the last couple of days, he had remained quiet and didn't seem to be saying a word to anyone. Sometimes he would sit in the sidings at the junction, depressed and alone, even overnight. This was starting to worry Pav. So one day, he took it upon himself to talk to the Hunslet. Are you feeling all right, Dom? You've been very quiet and hardly spoken to anyone. Yes, Pav. I'm fine. Just preoccupied at the moment. And does sitting around alone and looking like you've been thrown on the scrap heap counters preoccupied? Well, uh... Dominic, if there is a problem, you can tell me. Dom looked over at the P-Class. Whenever his full name was used, he knew it was serious. <sighs> Actually, Pav, something has been troubling me. I've been having nightmares lately, and they've been reminding me about something. Something I thought I could move on from, and forget. Is there any chance you could... Tell me about it. I mean, if you don't want to, then I... No, 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 no. I will tell you, Pab. But only because you've asked. And this was the story Dom told. Before I came here, I worked in a small marshalling yard in the region. Shunting trucks about and rearranging others, that sort of thing. It was an alright sort of life to begin with, and I was happy. But that quickly changed when... she started. Ow! What the... <laughs> gotcha, Dom! <laughs> what did you do that for, Taylor? You could have knocked me off the tracks! Ah, come on, Dom. I'm just playing with you. All in good fun. I don't see what's fun about bumping other engines about. It's only fun when you do it to the trucks and not other engines. At first, it was only once. But then it just carried on. Any chance Taylor got, she took it. It was bumped, bashed and biffed about like it was some sort of wagon or something like that. Most of the time it was in front of the other engines, which made the situation even more humiliating. Eventually, I had had enough, which was where it got worse. Taylor, this bumping obsession of yours is getting beyond a joke. If you don't stop bumping me about, I'll- You'll what? You'll do what, Dominic? Tell on me? Exactly. It's about time you were- Listen here, you. If you rat me out, there'll be deep trouble. Well, what kind of trouble? I'll set someone on you, and they'll do much worse than me. So, unless you want to be in even more trouble, my strongest advice is to keep your mouth shut, and nothing bad will come of it. Get the picture. Those words rattled in my mind, and I felt dreadfully uncomfortable after that. But I didn't want anything worse to happen to me, so I said nothing. However, Taylor still continued to torment me, and one night, when the other engines were asleep, I ran away from the yard, so I could escape the nightmare. Strike me pink, that's awful! So Taylor went from bullying and harassing you, to downright blackmailing you! She did. After escaping, I ended up in the scrapyard where I got my forehead dent. And upon escaping from there, I ended up where you found me all those years ago, and brought me to the railway. Since that day, I've lived my whole life trying to move on from those terrible memories. The memories that that harassing pervert had caused. But they just continued to stay with me, and I was unable to let go from them. I guess you never told Mr. Harris about this either, did you? No. I didn't tell you or anyone else because I was really scared and worried that no one would believe me and just laugh it off. Pav could see how upset Dom was. 
He remembered when he kept his past a secret because it was tough to bring up. But this was different. His friend kept his past secret because he was threatened into silence if he did tell someone. Bullying and harassment of any kind were serious matters that shouldn't be encouraged and no one should have to suffer from. I'm very sorry you had to go through all of that torture, buddy. Many people at Engines have gone through similar experiences like that, some of which that might have been more disgusting than others. But let me ask you, how did you feel now that you have taught me? Well, I... I feel a bit better having now told you. But I've got a feeling that it's not the end between me and Taylor. She might still be out there somewhere. And maybe one day, she'll venture here, and then, you know. Well, even if she is, and you do come across her, the strongest advice I can give you is, stand your ground and be the bigger engine. You shouldn't have to put up with that horrid monster a second time. Can you do that for me? I... I can. I'll do it for you, pal but only when the time comes. That's my boy. Well, I must get going. I have another job to do. See you later, Dom. As Pav puffed away to his next job, something became clear to Dom. Talking to someone about a problem was something he should never be afraid to do, even if he did feel threatened to do so. And after that day, Dom felt much better than before and continued with life as normal. But some questions still remain. Whatever happened to Taylor? Is she still around? And if she is, will she ever set wheels on forest like metals in the future? I'm afraid the only answer I can give for now is... That's another story. But for the Forest Light Trio, their stories are just beginning.